Hello friends, I'm Judy Hills, the president of FONCPL. As we enter this season of thanking and giving, we should begin by thanking our officers and board members of the Friends of the North Carolina Public Libraries, because without their contributions of time and talents, the statewide organization could not exist. We thank our officers, Joanne Strait of Newburn, Mark West of Newburn, who is the treasurer between January and August, and Tim Como of Hickory, who will assume this role in November. We thank our directors, Eileen Alexander of Hickory, who is a newsletter editor between January and September, Meg Ford of Beaufort, Joyce Spies of Sparta, Becky Smith of Hickory, who is also our membership chair, Donna Morgan of Southport, who also chairs our awards and grants committee, Kathy Lamb of Kernersville, who's the editor of our newsletter, Trudy Farley of Columbia, and Ann Holland of Midland, who is our webmaster. We thank all those who have graciously created our fall workshops, presentations, as well as Linda Reynolds, our state library liaison who provides guidance and input. Linda was also instrumental in instituting the new Friends of the Library listserv this year. If you have not yet signed up for it, you'll find the link on our website. It is a peer-to-peer -peer support network. Your FONCPL board has been busy since spring. You may have noticed our new FONCPL logo that includes a new tagline. We thought it was time to freshen up our look. Our new newsletter editor is putting her mark on the look and features, and we hope you noticed when, that when you read the October newsletter. It also has a new name, NC Friends Talk. We also have a new WordPress website. Our old website was created in a program that was 20 plus years old, becoming impossible to maintain. Do check out the many resources on our website, we want it to be your go-to place when looking for facts and ideas related to friends. In spring, we implemented two new grant programs and we're very pleased to announce the first winners. Seed grants are designed for those establishing new friends groups or for those revitalizing a friends group that has become inactive. This grant is a maximum of $500 and the group receiving it must agree to be mentored by FONCPL. There are no deadlines. The application may be made any time. The number of grants awarded in any fiscal year will depend on the FONCPL budget. The first recipient of a $500 reward to revitalize their group is the Friends of the Johnston County and Smithfield Library. Congratulations! Challenge grants are for groups current on their FONCPL dues and is designed to directly benefit the Friends, not the library for which they're associated. These small grants of up to $250 may be used for innovative and creative projects, and we're very pleased to announce that the Friends of the Vanceboro Craven County Public Library will receive $250 for their proposed Catch the Little Free Libraries bus. And the Friends of the Lexington Library will receive $250 to distribute a free book to every elementary age child who attends the May 7, 2022 Multicultural Festival in Lexington. Congratulations to both of these deserving friends groups. Information on the winners will be posted on the FONCPL website. The next rounds of challenge grants will be awarded in the fall of 2022 with applications due in September 15th. Applications for seed grants are reviewed and as they are received and the number awarded again depends on available funding. We also made some changes to our awards. Here are the 2021 winners. The Francis B. Reed Award is for a single friends group who made a significant contribution to their community between September 1st in the prior year and August 31st the current year by supporting one or more libraries through contributions, advocacy, and volunteer services, and by supporting reading and lifelong learning. The winner is the Friends of the Southport Oak Island Library. Congratulations! They will receive the certificate and will be featured on the FONCPO website and on in the newsletter. The Franny Ashburn Volunteer of the Year Award is made for one individual friend from each of the five FONCPL geographic areas who made an outstanding contribution to the Friends of the Library between September 1 of the prior year and August 31st of the current year. The 2021 winner for the Southeast area is Beth Clare, the Secretary of the Friends of the Southport Oak Island library. Congratulations, Beth. She will receive a certificate and will be featured on the FONCPO website and on in the newsletter. It really was a shame that more groups did not submit candidates for either award. We can't stress how important it is to recognize groups and individual members for all they do for the friends and the libraries. 
and we continue to request that you send us articles and pictures to the newsletter and content for the website. Share your good news and ideas with other friends. That's why you joined, isn't it? And do forward the NC Friends talk to your members. While we appreciate your dues and contributions, both group and individual, we are much stronger as an organization when we collaborate and contribute. So we invite you to continue this journey with us. This past year, FONCPL did extensive research to find friends of the library groups in North Carolina. And honestly, we were appalled at how difficult it was to find any information on some friends group that we knew existed. This led to an observation that many groups are thoroughly in need of revitalization and modernization. Friends, like all nonprofit organizations, need to periodically reinvent themselves to ensure relevancy. We don't want your friends group to become defunct as your longtime leaders age out. Many of the topics presented this fall and last spring are designed to provide guidance and direction to help you achieve this objective, and we truly hope that you have. If you are an FONCPL member group and you need one-on-one -on -one assistance, please contact a member of our FONCPL board. Recently, we consulted with four friends groups, one on financial matters, one on the development of a new logo, one on donor acknowledgement, and one on dissolving. This member benefit is we hope that you will take advantage of. Now, it's my pleasure to announce the fall workshop presentations. The links to the YouTube videos are posted on our website. YouTube does not allow active links within the presentation, so some presentations will be posted as PFDs on our website to, so the resource links can be utilized. We hope you will review all these presentations, both as individuals and as groups. In addition to review, viewing my remarks, we also ask you to view Linda Randall's presentation, giving an update on the state of the library. Claire McGreedy, a member of the Friends of the Havelock Craven County Public Library, has been hired by the library to conduct craft workshops. In her presentation, Crafting Arts and Crafts Workshops, you will learn the ins and outs of conducting such a workshop. Additional topics include the importance of an annual budget. Every friends group, no matter how small, should do an annual report. Learn the elements to include in your presentation. Crafting a new logo. Have you had the same logo for the past 20, 30 years? We encourage you to consider refreshing your image by creating a new logo. Learn how on this video. Event planning, big, medium, or small events all need preparation. And while this presentation addresses the planning for a large in-person event, it can be scaled down for smaller events. The basics are the same. The importance of having a website. If you don't have one, oh no, this is a must. It's not enough to have a page on your library's website and a Facebook page does not replace the need for a website for your friends. Hear all about the need for a website on this video. New member volunteer slash orientation onboarding. This is a critical time for a new member. If you take the time to bring them into the fold, you will make them feel welcome and you may end up with a really active member. Learn best practices for onboarding new members in this video. Evaluating book donations. If your friends receive donated books for your book sale, it would behoove you to view this video. Speakers Bureau. You may think you're too small to need a Speakers Bureau, but we invite you to reconsider this notion. Learn the importance of having one and how to establish it. We hope these workshop presentations will help you re-energize or improve your friends in some way. Please continue to view and share the YouTube presentations all year long. The spring workshops can also still be viewed. The links are on our website. If you have suggestions for future topics, we'd, we'd love to hear from you. Please continue your group's membership as and join as individuals as well. FONCPL F -O -N -C -P -L does not fundraise, so dues and contributions are our only means of supporting the statewide organization and the services it provides. We thank the friends for all that you do for your libraries and for your communities. Stay the course, weather the storms, and reach out for help when you need it. We are here for you. Now, enjoy the presentations, and thank you.